that's that's <laughs> Megan Kelly singing. We have enough yeah. John singing. Oh yeah, up. we do. Hey, callers want to talk about one thing on the radio, huh? This campaign, certainly not that song. The Bosnia flap is still taking on a life of its own, and no matter what happens between Clinton and Obama, she's making it clear she is in it to win it until the end. Time for America's Voice checking in on some of the country's top radio hosts to see what's hot on talk radio. Ed Schultz is here tonight. Tammy Bruce is back with us too. Good evening to both of you. Hi, Ed, you're Ed, you're a Democrat. Evening, uh, have you endorsed, first of all? No, I haven't. Uh, I've been on record saying that I could support either candidate, whoever gets the nomination. All right, stop right there then. I'm hearing that you're getting pressure from the Clinton people. <laughs> pressure to do what? Well, you know, uh, you know, the Clinton camp has got rabbit ears. Uh, they don't like what they're hearing on Progressive Talk Radio. I've heard it from Terry McAuliffe. It's harder to get their surrogates on. They don't like the way it's playing out. And uh, this is just uh, the nature of the beast, I guess. Uh, but these super delegate calls that the Clintons are making to these super delegates are getting pretty intense as well. You know, the president is telling people that, well, you're off the list uh, and you're committing political suicide if you go against Hillary. And hey, hang on, hang on, uh, hang on. What, I'm calling him out on hey, it. Hey, I mean, I, I think that's heavy-handed stuff. Well, I think that goes beyond politics. Hey, but well, what does it mean I guess if this you're... is the way they're going to play the game. I'm sorry, buddy. What does it mean if you're off the list? I'd like to know what that means. I've had two super delegates tell me that they're off the list because they've gone with Barack Obama. And I, I think that listeners need to know that this kind of shenanigans is going on behind the scenes and they're, oh, they're gravitating to it. Hey, Tammy, what are you hearing out there? Yeah, I heard you talking earlier today about a Walter Mitty moment. What's that about? <laughs> well, that's now essentially how people are viewing Hillary in many ways, is that she is effectively Walter Mitty. It's this idea of somebody making up scenarios to engrandize themselves that are more exciting, perhaps, than what they really experienced. This is a good chance, though, for her, that since we've seen now a history of this as we look back, maybe uh, she's going to stop. Stop it. Uh, it'll be good for her. It'll be good for Democrats in the country. But what's also been very big news is what she said to Greta Van Susteren last night, effectively saying she was going to pull the nuclear option on the convention, that she isn't going to stop. And she shouldn't. I mean, she is essentially even with Barack Obama, but that she's going to, if it has to be a floor fight, it'll be a floor fight. Uh, and she's made it very clear. And frankly, a lot, I'm now an uh, a decline to state as an independent conservative here. But really, America deserves a president who really wants it. And she's making it clear she does. Yeah, Ed, when, when you're on the radio, uh, what do Democratic callers think about that? This fight to the bitter end kind of attitude. Well, they, they do a good job of taking it out on the host, I can tell you that, but that's just part <laughs> of the territory. Hey, are you, are you uh, wearing Kevlar you know, too uh, with that sniper fire? <laughs> I, I tell you what, I got my flag jacket on every single day. I bet you do. And a special set of headphones too. You got to watch out. Here, here's the deal. If the Clintons start strong arming people at the convention and if they can only go the super delegate route, it's going to infuriate a lot of Democrats because the popular vote and the elected delegate count and the number of states is going to weigh heavy, I think, with the majority of Democrats in this country. Mm -hmm. Tammy, well, finish there's that also thought on there. Mi millions, millions of people have yet to vote. Uh, there are at least 10 states coming up. Uh, Hillary made that point last night as well. And on, for, the, for those of us who are independent conservatives, the issue about whether or not we kind of lift off off of John McCain and not criticize him, that was a discussion today as well uh, because it, conservatives are not happy with him now not everything is all right on uh, the conservative end of the dial so uh, to, to, to both of you to both of you on that last point there Tammy if Hillary Clinton runs the table that means mm -hmm. Pennsylvania Kentucky Indiana mm -hmm. North Carolina North Carolina by a nose mm -hmm. Puerto Rico and early she will June, win North Carolina uh, Oregon uh, South Dakota she Montana if she Carolina. runs the table does she make a good case that she should be the nominee in your view Oh, obviously, also the proportional delegate dynamic also makes it essentially impossible for either one of them to win this on the street. Is that a so yes it's really or no? going to be a matter of it's going to be a matter of an agreement between the two of them okay. by the end. Okay, Ed, yeah. quickly, yes or no on that scenario? Uh, I don't think that she can win at the 65 percent level. The rest of the states, it won't happen. Got it. Put your Kevlar back on, okay, you two. <laughs> See you, Ed. You got it. <laughs> we'll See you later. That. See you, Tammy.